Hello, welcome to the next section, creating spatial databases. This section covers the creation and editing of spatial databases using QGIS. Here we will start with the fundamental concepts. Then we will be creating spatial databases. Once this is done, we will be importing and exporting these databases and finally, we will be creating queries and views. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with fundamental concepts of database. In this video, we will learn about database tables, their relationships, and finally learn about structured query language. So, what do you think is a database? A database is a structured collection of data. Databases provide multiple benefits over data stored in a flat file format, such as Shapefile or KML. The benefits include complex queries, complex relationships, scalability, security, data integrity, and transactions, to name a few. A relational database stores data in tables. A table is composed of rows and columns where each row is a single data record and each column stores a field value associated with each record. A table can have any number of records. However, each field is uniquely named and stores a specific type of data. A data type restricts the information that can be stored in a field and it is very important that an appropriate data type and its associated parameters be selected for each field in a table. The common data types are integer, float, real, decimal, text, and date. Each of these data types can have additional constraints set, such as setting a default value, restricting the field size, or prohibiting null values. A table relationship connects records between tables. The benefit of relating tables is reducing data redundancy and increasing data integrity. In order to relate two tables together, each table must contain an indexed key field. A key field can be defined as an index. A field set as an index must only contain values that are unique for each record, and therefore, it can be used to identify each record in a table uniquely. An index is useful for two reasons. Firstly, it allows records to be quickly found during a query if the indexed field is part of the query. Secondly, an index can be set to be a primary key for a table allowing for table relationships to be built. With related tables, more complex queries can be executed and redundancy in the database can be reduced. Structured Query Language, or SQL, is a language designed to manage databases and the data contained within them. SQL provides functions to select, insert, delete and update data. In this video, we have covered the basics of database.